Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena and I'm back. <laughs> so I have not made a video in a month, probably over a month by now. I'm so sorry, I'm the worst. <laughs> I know I keep promising I'm gonna like make videos regularly, but this time I'm not promising anything, honestly. I'm gonna try my best to keep making videos on a regular schedule, but I cannot promise anything at this point. If you will notice, I'm back in my bedroom. I'm home from college for a few weeks for winter break. And because I'm home where I am most comfortable and when I have a lot of time because I don't have school, I'm going to be making as many videos as I possibly can over the next few weeks to hopefully resurrect my channel and get back on track. I forgot to bring my lamp home from college, which is what I usually use. So I'm using a very makeshift lighting situation right now. I don't really know how it looks, but oh well. Better than nothing at this point, right? <laughs> For today's video, I'm gonna be playing kind of a game, I think. I don't really know how else to explain it. I've had this video idea for a while, and I tweeted this morning if you guys wanted to see me do it, and all of you guys were like, yes, do it! So what I'm going to be doing in today's video is reviewing your guys' favorite albums. And I'm gonna be doing it in kind of like a quick fire kind of way. I asked you guys to tweet me your favorite albums preferably ones that I'm familiar with, and I'm going to be telling you guys what I think is the best song from that album, the worst song from that album, the most overrated song from that album, and the most underrated song from that album. This is kind of like a quick fire album review game, very interactive with my lovely, lovely subscribers because I've missed you guys so much, so I wanted to do a video that included you guys in a way. And I'm honestly really excited. You guys are tweeting me some good albums right now and I'm excited to rant about how I feel about them. I'm going to be brutally honest <laughs> in this video. I hope I don't offend anyone's favorite songs or whatever from these albums. And one more thing before we get started, if you are not following me on social media, definitely feel free to hit me up on various other platforms. I got Twitter, I got Instagram, and I got Snapchat. The links are down below. If you wanna add me on Snapchat right here, here's my little code thing. Hello, yes, go ahead, add it, that'd be great. And my Instagram is elena.jpeg if you'd like to give me a follow there. And my Twitter is at not Elena because irony, <laughs> get it? Because it actually is Elena, it's my account, so don't be deceived. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. The button is right down there somewhere. Uh, that would mean a lot if you did. And yeah, hi, I'm Elena, nice to meet you. Welcome to my music taste. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into this quick fire album review challenge game. I don't know what to call it, but okay, let's go. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with a bang. A lot of you guys said to do Double Dare by Water Parks, which as you know, is one of my favorite albums ever. And I love Water Parks so much. And I'm just so excited for their new album, which is coming out next month. And I'm definitely doing a video on it. Don't worry. I guess, you know, in celebration of Water Parks releasing new music, let's start with Double Dare first. I have two favorite songs from this record. Like I love them both equally, but for different reasons. And it's Hawaii Stay Away in Plum Island. I love Plum Island because it just pops off like it's such a banger. But then Hawaii Stay Awake is my other favorite for a more like sentimental reason because yes it does pop off and it is also a banger but the lyrics are like really important to me. They just mean like that song just means a lot to me and that was like the first song that really got me into water parks. So I'm gonna say my favorite song from Double Dare is Hawaii Stay Awake. I can't even count. My least favorite song from this album is not hard to choose at all. No thought needed. I do not like the song Take Her to the Moon at all. I didn't even put it on my phone when I downloaded the album. Oops. <laughs> the most overrated song, I would say. I mean, I could just say Stupid For You because that's like their biggest song, but Honestly, I'm gonna go with Gloom Boys as the most overrated song because they released it as a single. They play it like at every concert. Every Waterparks fan 
like loves gloom boys for some reason i literally have a shirt with gloom boys lyrics on it but honestly i don't think gloom boys should have even been a single like it's real it's a really good song but th i think there are a lot better songs on this album that get no attention i mean it's still a bop i still love it but I feel like Bloom Boys is slightly overrated by both the band and the fans, but that's just my opinion. It's fine. And then, okay, the most underrated song, so one song from this album that I feel deserves so much more recognition than it gets, Little Violence is such a good song and no one ever talks about it and it really pisses me off because this song, y'all think Plum Island and Hawaii Stay Awake pop off? This song pops off. I love this song, so it's another one of my favorites, like probably right after Plum Island in Hawaii. And I, I honestly don't know anyone else that loves it as much as I do, which makes me upset because it is such a great song. So, water parks, what the fuck? <laughs> Next album is From the Outside by Hey Violet, which I did do a reaction and review video on way back when it came out. Overall, I was really impressed with that album because I used to not like Hey Violet at all, but then this album was so good and so unexpected. My favorite song from from the Outside by Hey Violet is definitely Like Lovers Do. I love this song so much. I think it is so different and so creepy and just badass, which are my favorite kinds of songs. So for that reason, Like Lovers Do is definitely my favorite song from Hey Violet's album. <laughs> My least favorite song from From the Outside is not hard to choose again at all. Um, I really do not like the song My Consequence. Some of the lyrics, I guess, are pretty cute and it's got a nice beat. It's very Hey Violet-esque, but honestly, I feel like if My Consequence wasn't on the album, I wouldn't feel like anything was missing. <laughs> care for it that much. <laughs> I think the most overrated song from this album is definitely Hoodie. It's a great song and like it pops off, but I feel like everyone loves that song and only that song. Like it's really good and like I bop to it, but it's honestly kind of basic at the same time. Like it sounds very generic and the lyrics are pretty like immature, I guess, which isn't a bad thing, but you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Please don't come for me, hey Violet. <laughs> and then I would say the most underrated song from from the outside is probably This Is Me Breaking Up With You, which I love that song. This Is Me Breaking Up With You is like another one of my favorites, like top favorites from this album, and I never hear anyone talking about it ever. The song is so fun, it's so catchy. I love it, I think it's super fun. I thought it was a really weird and kind of quirky way to finish the album off because it's the last track on the album. I think it is just such a fun song to dance to, to I work out to it, I blast it in my car, and I never hear anyone else talking about it really, so This Is Me Breaking Up With You is probably what I have seen to be the most underrated song from the album, even though it's a bop. <laughs> Bitch, okay. <sighs> All right, here we go. <laughs> the next album I'm going to be doing a quick fire review of is Last Young Renegade by All Time Low. <sighs> there are so many things I could say about this album, most of which are not positive. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, All Time Low is literally one of my favorite bands ever. I owe so much of my happiness to them. Okay, but this album was just not that good. <laughs> uh, it pains me to say it, but I have to be honest with you guys. Like, this was not a good album. It wasn't. And I don't know if it's because they like switched labels or whatever, but I mean, 
Can anything really top Don't Panic? No. There's a few songs on this album that I listen to a lot, but overall, I was really excited for this album and it was kind of a disappointment to me, but it's fine. Let's talk about it. It's fine. My favorite song from Last Young Renegade is definitely Life of the Party. That song is such a bop. I think it's like very unique. I loved the music video for it too. I thought it was very good. And although it is kind of a different sound for All Time Low, it worked. Whereas a lot of the other songs on this album that were a different sound for All Time Low did not work. And so for that reason, that's why Life of the Party is my favorite song. <laughs> My least favorite song, not even hard to choose. Dark Side of Your Room is the worst song All Time Low have ever released. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a bitch. I can't even, I couldn't even like tell you the lyrics to this song because I skip it every time. It's just not that good. Okay, that's all I'm playing of that. <laughs> Most overrated song from this album is probably, oh, no question, Good Times. Okay, Good Times is good. It's a good song. It was good live. It was a great way to like wrap up the set. I see them promoting this song all the time. It's getting played on the radio a bunch and I just don't think Good Times is like their best song. Why is it getting played on the radio so often? when it's not their best song. Like they could have easily put Last Young Renegade or Life of the Party on multiple times on the radio, but they put good times over and over again and it's honestly not even that good of a song. And I would say the most underrated song from this album is probably Ground Control, the track featuring Tegan and Sarah. I love this song. I think it's very soft and cute and different than what All Time Low usually do, but it still kind of worked much like Life of the Party and a few others from the album. I like this song a lot, but I never really hear anyone talking about it. They never played it live. It was just kind of like there and that was it. And there are a lot more songs on this album that get more recognition than Ground Control that don't deserve to. And that's the tea, ladies. <laughs> Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. Ooh, interesting. Honestly, ooh, you know what? I have a lot to say about this album, so let's dive in. Okay, so my favorite song from Death of a Bachelor is, oh my God, I don't even know if I can choose one. Okay, I'd say my favorite is probably Don't Threat Me With A Good Time. I love this song the most because it just pops off musically, whatever, and then the lyrics are also just really funny to me. <laughs> I just like, I listen to these lyrics and I can visualize exactly what is going on. Like, Brendan Urie just paints such a vivid picture in my mind whenever I listen to this song because of the lyrics and also because of the music as well. It's just very catchy and it's a bop and I love bops, as you can tell, so that. <laughs> I lost a bet to a guy in a chiffon skirt But I make these high heels work I told you time and time again I'm not as thick as you drunk I am My least favorite song from this album is probably Impossible Year It's just kind of boring in my opinion um, It's just like don't get me wrong, Brendan Urie has the best singing voice ever. He is probably, like, if you were to ask me what singer out there has the best voice, I would say Brendan Urie because not only is his voice, his singing voice just really, like, unique, like, he has such an amazing range. He can do anything. Brendan Urie can literally do anything. He could punch me in the face and I would thank him. Don't get me wrong, Brendan Urie's voice is amazing, but when it's just, like, his voice and, like, a piano, I don't know. It just doesn't really like hype me up as much as the rest of the album does. So that's why I would say it's probably my least favorite song. The most overrated song is the song Death of a Bachelor. It's like the most popular song in terms of Spotify plays on the album and I just feel like it's not the best. I just don't really understand how Death of the Bachelor is like the biggest song when 
victorious and hallelujah and don't threaten me with a good time we're all singles as well and i think they're better than death of the bachelor if that makes sense and then the most underrated song from this album is definitely the good the bad and the dirty this is like my other favorite song. Don't Threat Me With The Good Time and The Good, The Bad, and The Dirty are my two favorite songs from this album and The Good and The Bad and The Dirty gets no recognition whatsoever. I never hear anyone ever talking about this song. It was never played live. I've never met a single person who's like, yes, The Good, The Bad, and The Dirty is the best song on this album, when it literally is. Yet no one else ever talks about it and it makes me really upset because it is so lit and it's so badass and I just, ugh, I love this song. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do one more album because I feel like this video is getting kind of long. Sorry I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with an oldie but goodie. This is Blue Neighborhood by Troy Sivan I used to love this album so much It was like one of my favorites for a while and I just haven't listened to it in a while because Troy Sivan has not released anything really I love Troy Sivan. I think he is so talented and so special and he's just such a great guy Yeah, there's a lot I could say about this album because there's a lot of songs and I love all of them, but Let's see if I can figure something out. <laughs> My favorite song from Troy Sivan's Blue Neighborhood is definitely Heaven. I think this song is beautiful in every way possible. Everything from the lyrics to the music, it just creates this beautiful, beautiful masterpiece of a song. And I'm so glad he released it as a single eventually and he made a music video for it. And just the story behind the song is so powerful and special, you know? I just, I love Heaven so much. It's the most beautiful song Troy Sivan has ever made. My least favorite song is probably Ease, the song featuring Broods. I mean, it's okay, but compared to all the other songs on Blue Neighborhood, I feel like it's just kind of basic. I mean, it's a good song, but it just doesn't really do anything for me at the same time, if that makes sense. The most overrated song, I think I'm just gonna have to go with Youth because it is like one of the big singles from Blue Neighborhood and compared to the other singles he released from this album, like Fools and Heaven, I don't really think it was that great. That's my opinion on Youth. I mean, it's still a great song and like, again, a bop, yeah, but uh, compared to all of his other singles, I don't think it deserves to be like the top one, if that makes sense. And then the song that I feel like is the most underrated song from Blue Neighborhood, which is also one of my favorite songs, so I feel especially passionate about this, um, is the song Too Good. I love this song so much. It's, again, one of my favorites from the entire album, and no one ever talks about it, which is upsetting because it's so creepy and like intense and oh, I love songs like that. <laughs> I am disappointed with everyone for not seeing the masterpiece that is too good because it is such a good song, but no one else ever talks about it. So, rats. <laughs> <laughs> So those are all the albums I'm going to be talking about today. Thank you to everyone who tweeted me an album. I'm sorry if I didn't get to yours. A lot came in and um, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I also wanted to go in depth about these albums that I chose to talk about because I really wanted to get my points across. And again, I'm sorry if I bashed your favorite song. <laughs> But hey, I have to be open with my opinions, okay? You know? But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching my channel, even after all of the times I've been slacking lately, um, you're a true homie and I love you so much. And I promise I'm gonna try to make more videos soon in the new year. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna try my best. <laughs> Once again, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All the links will be in the description below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that would mean a lot. And I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully soon. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is Elena and that's me over and out. Bye.